What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on the brand new Kinhank G1. So this is a brand new streaming box with official certification for Android TV OS version 11, meaning you'll be able to stream 4K content from across the board. So that's all the major streaming apps such as Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Apple TV and so on and so forth. Quickly run through the specs. This box is powered by the S905X4 quad core with integrated Mali G31 graphics. The box has 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of eMMC storage. This box does have micro SD expansion, supports Wi Fi 6, 100 megabyte LAN, and you've got Bluetooth version 5. This is running official licensed Android TV OS version 11. That means you've got Google Chromecast and Google Assistant built in. You've got Google Widevine Level 1 certifications. You've got HDMI 2.1. This supports 4K60 with Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus. And you've got Dolby Audio. And this does also come with a Bluetooth remote control. Now, why do I have two boxes on this table? Well, I've actually teamed up with Kin Hank to bring you a special giveaway and more details towards the end of this video. All right, so quick look at what you get inside the box. So we've got a user manual, HDMI cable. Now this is the first time I've ever seen an ethernet cable included with an Android TV box. So that's a very interesting. You get an ethernet cable, power supply, and I'll give you a close up of the voltage information, which is here on the back. 12 watt power supply and you get a Bluetooth remote control. You can see you've got shortcuts there for YouTube, Netflix, Prime and Disney. And there is a Google Assistant button as well. So there's a built in microphone so you can handle all your voice searches. Two AAA batteries are required and they are not included in the box. Closer look at the box itself. So you've got the G1 logo on top. It's got a nice matte finish, a physical power button on the front, and you've got some LED indicators. On the side, we've got micro SD expansion, two USB 2 ports, and a reset hole in between. If we keep going, you've got an AV port, HDMI 2.1, 100 megabyte LAN, optical audio port, and you've got your power socket. If we keep going, nothing on this side, and that will bring us back to the front of the box. And here is a quick look at the bottom of the box. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this box took 45 seconds to fully load to the home screen from a cold start. So this is the home screen. You're looking at Android TV OS version 11, the official version. So you've got a favorite section where you can add your own apps by hitting the plus sign and selecting them. Thereafter, you have recommendations on what you can watch next from Netflix, Prime and other channels. You can also customize these channels so you can switch things on and off as required. Right at the top, you've got your search options, both typing and voice search. This is the home page that you've already seen. You've got a discover page for what you can watch next. And then you have an app section where you can check out all your installed apps and you can also open up the Google Play Store. And that is the official Android TV version of the Play Store. So slightly condensed, limited version of the Play Store. So you're limited to Android TV apps only, but you can of course sideload any of your favorite APKs as usual. Now let's head over to the main system settings and go to device preferences and check out the system storage info. Now this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which 27 gigs are free to use. Now if we just go back and hit about, you will see that this is indeed running Android TV OS version 11. And you can see more information on the security patch levels, kernel numbers and the build numbers, etc. Other things to mention, we've got Chromecast built in, which I am gonna briefly test. So if I grab my phone, open up YouTube. If I tap the Chromecast icon, you can see in the middle it says G1. If we tap on it, we're going to be connected. I can go ahead and play any of my videos and it will play on the big screen. Now, as you guys just saw, Google Chromecast works absolutely fine. And that also tells us that this is an official licensed product. As the unofficial boxes, Chromecast usually doesn't work. So that's another plus point. Let's have a quick look in display and sound and check out the screen resolution. You can see display mode is 4K 60 and under HDR priority, you can select either Dolby Vision or HDR 10. Now let's have a look at what apps you get as standard. Now, when I first set this box up, it asked me what apps I want to install. So you can see we've got Netflix, Prime, YouTube, Disney. Um, these are all the main apps. Now, the first thing I usually test is screen mirroring but this box doesn't actually have a native app included for screen mirroring. So you can't mirror your iPhone or your Android screen. But what you can do is you can go to the app store 
This is the official Android TV version of the Play Store. So slightly limited than the full version, but you can see all the major apps are included and I am quickly downloading VLC Player as I am gonna need that for the next test. Okay, so for my next test, we are gonna play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I'm gonna do this from the VLC Player, which I just installed. So let's start off with the high bitrate 4K Jellyfish demo. The first video clip is 160 megabits per second and you can see it's playing back absolutely fine with no issues. All right, next up we're testing 180 megabits per second Jellyfish demo. And again, you can see it's playing back fine, super smooth, no issues here. The real test, 400 megabits per second Jellyfish demo. So unfortunately it's struggling with the 400 megabit per second Jellyfish demo. And thereafter I tested some various 4K60 video samples with HDR and they all played back great with no issues. Now while we're here, I also tried playing back an AV1 video file to see if that works and it did indeed play back fine. So AV1 Kodak is also supported. We are now moving on to the YouTube test and I'm gonna open up YouTube from the shortcut button. So you can see that works fine as well. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick voice search, here we go. 4K video. And you saw the voice search worked without me keeping the Google Assistant button pressed. So I only had to press it once and it was active. So starting off with the usual Costa Rica video and you can see maximum supported is 4K60 with HDR. So let's see how it plays back and I will switch on the stats as well. So as you guys just saw, superb 4K video streaming through YouTube, super smooth, no drop frames, no issues. Um, very nice indeed. So let's just go ahead and play a few more trailers like we usually do. So, okay, so that was YouTube streaming. Now let's check out the Netflix app. And I can confirm that Netflix does support 4K streaming with HDR from my 4K monitor. And when connected to my main screen, you can see that Dolby Vision is supported along with 5.1 surround sound. So we don't seem to have support for Dolby Atmos, but Dolby Vision does work fine. So Amazon Prime Video on my main screen is giving us 4K HDR max. And finally, Disney Plus does support Dolby Vision with 5.1 sound. So we've got at least 4K video playback across the board. Most of the apps do support Dolby Vision, but we don't have any Dolby Atmos support in this box. So that's the streaming out of the way. Now I do want to test some gaming. Now I don't usually game for many hours on a streaming box. I might play the odd game of Crossy Roads, uh, but let's see what this thing can handle. I'm just going to test two basic games out. Now for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level one. And here is ADA64 where you can check out the clock speeds. And you can see we are indeed running the Mali G31. Now here are the results for the internal disk speeds. So we achieved read speeds of 165 and write speeds of 123 megabytes per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench single core score of 152 and multi-core score of 526. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 111K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top Android TV box performance chart for 2024, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And the ranking is based on Antutu benchmark scores. And based on that, you can see the new Kinhank G1 has taken position 11 on this chart with a benchmark score of 111K. Now I've also given this box an overall rating of 4.5 out of 5. So from this chart, you can see the performance scores and my overall rating all color coded to make it easy for you to read. Now you can read the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Okay, so as promised, before concluding this video and showing you the pros and cons, let's talk about the giveaway. So I have teamed up with this company to give away two Kinhank G1s. So we have two prizes to give away 
and we need two winners. Now this is an international giveaway so everyone is welcome to enter. I will be personally posting these prizes out to the winners. So to enter the giveaway just check out the Gleam link in the description box and follow the instructions. And make sure you are following, liking, sharing and subscribed to this YouTube channel and all my other socials. And you'll find all the relevant links in the description box below. So there you have it guys, that was the new Kinhank G1. And here are my thoughts. I'm really liking the performance of this box. 4K streaming is super smooth. Netflix does support Dolby Vision and you have official ATV version 11. AV1 codec is also supported. And I absolutely love the responsive Bluetooth remote control that's included. And microSD expansion is a bonus. Now there are some caveats to consider. 100 megabyte LAN limitation. There is no Dolby Atmos supported and no USB 3 ports included. Other than that, for the price, this is a very nice performing 4K streaming box with official licensed Android TV. Definitely not bad for the price. And we're giving two of these away. So check out the links in the description box. If you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.